Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a great looking church or ministry website using Web Starts. In this video I'll be covering several popular features that you'll find on ministry and church websites. For example, a donation button, your pre-recorded sermons, an events calendar, a contact form or prayer request form, and slideshow. So, now that we're ready to start, let's begin by going to webstarts.com. And once you get there, we're going to sign up for an account. So here we are at webstarts.com. Webstarts is everything you need to create your very own free website. And it's super easy to use and there's no files to upload or download since your website is designed and hosted in the cloud. When you're ready to sign up for free, click on sign up. It's free. Next, you'll choose a design. You can customize any one of WebStart's designs, but for this example, I'm going to choose the religion category from the drop-down menu to display church and ministry designs. I'm going to select this design to begin my website. Before I can begin, I have to complete this form asking for my name and also for my email address. Lastly, you'll need to choose a password and check the box verifying that you're human. Click sign up, it's free. For this demo, we're going to start by clicking edit website. In a few moments, the web starts page editor will load and then we'll be able to make changes to our website. Web starts is entirely drag and drop, so every element on the page can be clicked to be selected and then dragged wherever you would like it to appear. And I can also go back and I can even uh, change other things like, for example, if I want to change any of the text that's on that page, I would just go ahead and go to the page, click on the text box, click edit, and then I could highlight the text that I would like to change and then begin to type. At any time, you can click save and your changes will be both saved and published. You can view your site by clicking the View Site button. And when you do that, you'll notice that you'll also get a URL that you can share on social media through email and other means. Let's get into editing this website to make it our own. Here you can see that my homepage has a slideshow, but I would like to use some photos that I've taken of my own. And to do that, double click on the slideshow from there, you'll be able to rearrange or delete slides. So if I don't want these slides to be shown, I simply click on the trash can icon and it deletes them. I can add my own images by clicking the Add Images button. This is, opens up what's called the File Manager. In the File Manager, you will find the various images that you've either uploaded to your File Manager for your website, or you can link images from your Facebook account Instagram, browse the Web Starts image library, or upload your own photos by clicking upload. I've already uploaded a couple of my own photos like this one here, and to add it to my slideshow, I simply select it and click insert file. When I'm ready to update my file, when I'm ready to update my slideshow, I click update and my slideshow is updated. The next thing I want to do is add an events calendar to my website. To do this, I click on the drop down menu to change pages, and I have a page named events. I select that page. Let me first save the changes I made to my home page, and I now have my events page. I don't really care for this image, so what I'm going to do is select it and then click the red X to delete it. Likewise with this text box. But I do want a calendar to appear on my page. And to add a calendar, I click Add, choose Calendar. And then I can choose to connect my Google Calendar, which is also compatible with popular calendars like iCal or the Apple Calendar and Outlook by Microsoft. I'm going to connect my calendar later, but if you want to connect yours, simply click on this link and authorize it to connect with your Google email address or Gmail address. I'm going to choose the monthly calendar layout and click insert. The calendar is placed on my page. 
I can now drag and drop it wherever I would like it to appear. I can also change some of the colors of my calendar by clicking on the color fill bucket. So for example, if I wanted to change the border to be this gold color, I would select that from the fill bucket while the calendar is selected. I can also edit the calendar properties at any time by clicking on the edit calendar button, including connect my Google Calendar account. I'm going to resize my calendar because it's blocking a little bit of the text that appears below it that says upcoming events. Once again, I'm going to click save to save the changes and publish them to my live website. Next, I'm going to show you how to add a contact form to your church website. To do this, I'm going to select the contact page from the drop-down menu and navigate to it. There's already a contact form on my page and I can style this contact form in many different ways by clicking on it and then clicking the style brush and then choosing an appropriate effect. I can also change the colors of my form by clicking on the color bucket while the form is selected. So I can change something like the text color. If you would like to edit the form itself, click on the edit form icon and you will be able to change the form fields that appear on the contact form. Click on form settings and you'll be able to enter an email address where the submitted form will be transmitted to upon submission. You can also choose a confirmation page to send a person to once they've completed a form and you can view your form submissions by date by selecting a date range from the fields below. You can enable and disable CAPTCHA by clicking the appropriate box. Once you're satisfied with your form, click update form and the form on your page will be updated to reflect the changes. Another popular feature of Web Starts is the ability to download and share sermons. To do this, go to the sermons page. Let me first save my changes. Then I'm going to remove a little bit of this information here, like uh, where it says these are various sermons that have already been uploaded. And I remove them just by clicking on them individually and then clicking the red X that's attached to each element in order to delete them. And there you have it. I've created my very own custom church and ministry website uh, using Web Starts. I can add myself a music store or playlist by clicking add and then choosing playlist. From there I click add more and then I select the sermon titles that I would like to appear in my playlist. Now to get your sermons uploaded to the file manager, you'll need to click on the upload icon and from there you can choose to upload either an mp3 or .wav file of your sermon. Once that's completed, you can select it and add it to your playlist that you're going to display on your website. I can also add images to accompany the playlist. So for example, if I want that first sermon to have that photo of the field. I can call this one Harvest and I'm going to call this one Worship. When you're ready, click Insert and the player will be added directly to your page. Next, drag and drop the player where you would like it to appear and I'm going to click the settings cog to show you some of the settings. I'm going to enable a cover burr image. That's enables the image that I associated with each sermon to be displayed while the sermon is being played. And I'm also going to check the box that says downloadable so that people who visit my site can click that link to download my sermon. When I'm ready, I click save and then those changes are published to my live website. Another popular feature that you may want on a church or ministry website would be an online giving form. I'm going to add that to my about page. So I select about from the drop down menu and then I'm going to go down here where it says 
have questions, send us a message, and I'm going to add a donation form here. To do that, click on add and then choose a form. Then when you're setting up your form, be sure to include a field named payment. And to set up that payment field, click on the change payment settings and enter your PayPal address into the field provided along with an item name, an item description. And then if you're taking open donations, go ahead and click variable price and what that will do it will allow the people visiting your website to enter the amount they would like to donate when you're ready click insert and that form will be added to your page just like all things you can then drag and drop that form wherever you would like it to appear and you can also style it by clicking on the style brush like we did earlier now that I'm happy with the way that looks I click save and that change is published to my live website as well. Now when somebody comes to my site and they enter their name and their email address, they'll also be able to enter an amount of money they wish to donate, which will navigate them over to PayPal, and they'll be able to complete that online giving. Now I'd like to link my social media accounts to my website. And to do that, I'm moving back over to the contact page. From there, I'm going to locate my social bar. Click on the social bar and then click the edit social bar option. Here you'll notice you have a place to enter your Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google Plus account information. So all you need to do to do that is simply type in the URL for each one of your accounts. Make sure to not include that hashtag if you see it. And you can also enter in other social media icons by clicking on add more. Maybe you would like to add a YouTube to share sermons that you've recorded on video or SoundCloud or your phone number or even an email address. When you're ready, click update and those icons are updated on your page. You can select the social bar and change the color scheme by clicking on the color fill bucket while that element is selected, just like all the other things that we covered. And you can also resize it by using the handles. As always, be sure to save the changes to your page and view your live website by clicking view site. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free church website and see more videos like this.